Hey Gemini, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Your bonus reading is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel? If you're interested for the end of September. And if you want a personal love reading, Gemini, all the details are in the description box, okay? You can go to my Etsy shop. I have my personal readings there, my email readings, my decks, my spiritual jewelry, okay? All right, so Gemini, we're going to look at the past, the present, and the future in love. And we're going to clarify the heck out of your cards. <laughs> all right, so let's jump right in, Gemini. Gemini in love. What's going on for Gemini, please? All right. What is the challenge right now Gemini is facing in love? Let's start off with the challenge, the fool. Okay. So Gemini, you want a new beginning. You want a new start. This is about starting on a clean slate. There may be an opportunity that's being presented to you. You're having to take a risk on it. You're having to jump into the unknown. You don't know what's on the other side, but it's like, you know what? I'm going to close my eyes and do it because a lot of you guys, you want change, okay? All right, let's see. Give me the recent past for Gemini, the recent past for Gemini. Gemini, we have the two of wands. We have the magician. And we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So Gemini, I feel like there's a decision that you've been wanting to make, okay? There's something here that you've been unsure about. Which path to go down? Should I do this or do that? There's something here where you're trying to make a decision about. Because I'm getting that there's someone here in your life that you really want to manifest with you really see um maybe a new beginning with them right but there's something about this person not giving enough to you maybe you feel like they've shortchanged you they're not available to you always there's the energy gemini of someone here not reciprocating in a way that you can honestly feel like they're giving everything to you. You feel like that you want more. And I'm thinking that's what that new beginning, that fool is about. You want a new beginning with this person, but I'm getting that they have not shown you um, that they're fully invested. So I do feel like there's something here where you're trying to manifest this. You you want to be able to um, have an opportunity with this person. And so there's a lot of um, indecision here. There's a lot of going back and forth. Now let's see what the current energy is. You could be dealing with another Gemini or an Aries. The current energy is the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, the Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So, Gemini, I'm seeing that someone here has gotten you feeling um, left out in the cold, okay? Maybe you are reaching out to them and you don't get a response from them. I'm getting this is someone who comes across as very passionate. They're into you. Um, when you actually hear from them, they're excited. I mean, I'm getting that they definitely love to be around you. They could be in a crazy physical and sexual attraction here. But I feel like at times you feel unsupported by them. You feel they push you away. You feel like you don't have their full and divided attention. And I'm seeing Gemini that, you know, there's the energy of you maybe deciding to pull back or hold back, wait for them to reach out to you. Because I feel like this is someone here that you almost feel like you're forcing something with them now. Okay, so let's see what's coming in. Gemini, we have the sun, I'm sorry, the sun, the moon in reverse, the nine of pentacles with the page of wands in reverse. So in a near future, Gemini, I feel like a lot of you guys, you're working on your singlehood. You're working on being independent and being okay with that. Uh, I feel a lot of you guys, you may have, you know, been used to the idea of, um, or just, you know, expecting something from other people to make you happy, to make you feel good about yourself. But I really feel like Gemini coming into the moment, you're standing on your own two feet. You're in this energy of, you know, feeling okay with being where you are right now, whether you're single, whether you're alone or, you know, um, or even in a relationship. There's something here that may be revealed with the moon card, something that you are unaware of. We're going to find out what this is. It could be related to a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay, so let's jump right in. Let's get some more messages for you guys, Gemini. If this is your reading, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. Let's see what's going on with this fool. There's an opportunity here, okay? But there's some challenges as well with the fool card. Give me clarity on the fool. 
The Fool, ooh, it's clarified by, ooh, the Sun. There's the Sun, Leo energy. We got the Ten of Wands in reverse, and we have the World in reverse. There's something here that you have not closed out. There's a cycle here that you have not completely closed out because it's telling me that there was an ending with the Ten of Wands, um, but the World is in reverse, so it's almost like you're going back to this. Now, I feel like this is someone here that you've been going back and forth with for some time, Gemini, and it's almost like you want to move on. Something here has been very difficult. It's been challenging, but it's almost almost like you're being called to revisit the situation one more time. So a lot of you guys, you're wanting a new beginning with someone from the past. You want to see, well, can something change, right? Can they perhaps give me what I need? There's something here that you may be becoming more clear about. The, the sun is typically clarity. It's healing. It's something being revealed or illuminated to you. And this can certainly, um, you know, help you in this new beginning. So we're going to find out what this is all about. You could be dealing with a Leo in a recent past, you were really wanting something here. You wanted to manifest it. Why is the Magician card here? We have the Six of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse with the Moon in reverse. I feel like in the past, there was a situation here that someone gave up. Someone gave up entirely. Someone felt it's just not going to work. It's not victorious. There was something that failed. There was some situation here that failed in your life, Gemini. And I feel like at the time, you know, you had to just let it go. Because there was a lot of work that needed to be done here. And I feel like you gave it your all. And you just got tired. It was very frustrating. I'm also seeing with the moon in reverse, there could have been a secret here. Something could have came out. And it may have made you decide, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore, okay? There could have been something that was revealed to you. Something that was hidden from you. Okay, give me clarity on the two of wands. Someone may have been indecisive in the past. The two of wands is clarified by the queen of pentacles in reverse, the karma card, and the knight of wands in reverse. Some of you guys, I'm getting there was a third party, a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone here was definitely, um, I'm getting a lesson had to be learned. We have karma. Someone had to clear out some karma for sure. And I'm getting that someone was very immature. The Knight of Wands came out in the verse. Someone was very indecisive about you. They didn't know what they wanted. They, they came towards you. It's almost like they said things. Um, you know, to get you excited, Gemini. They made promises, but they didn't keep them. And I feel like this is someone who was very reckless, okay? And ultimately, you know, this Queen of Pentacles could be your energy too, Gemini. But what I'm seeing is that this is someone who's not ready to commit. They were very indecisive. They kept you as an option. I just feel like that's why the Six of Pentacles came out in the verse. Someone here was not ready to reciprocate. There was imbalance here in this connection. That's why something here failed. Something did not work out and it couldn't get off the ground. So I do feel like a lot of you guys, Gemini, in the past, you had to give up on a situation here that was not providing you stability, okay? And um, there was no long-term security here. Now, in the current energy, there's a fire sign coming towards you for some of you guys, but I feel like there's someone who's gotten you feeling left out in the cold or you may feel as if they've abandoned you. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. There's someone here, Gemini, here that um, I do feel they may want to apologize to. I don't think this apology has came in just yet because this is someone who may be very confused as to where they stand with you, okay? Um, definitely someone here who wants to express their love. They want to say, I'm sorry. They want to ask for forgiveness. But I also think that this is someone, the same person who may have had other options in love, and they may have brought a lot of confusion and complication to this connection. So I feel like as a result, you know, Gemini, maybe you decided to leave yourself out in a to leave this connection and you're in this place of feeling lack or feeling abandoned by them but a lot of you guys is telling me that you had no choice okay because someone here was um not investing in this connection when you were investing someone here was putting in the work to really make this happen and i feel like the other person wasn't tell me more about the page of pentacles in reverse the death in reverse, the chariot in reverse, and the ten of cups in reverse. Um, I feel very strongly that there was an ending here. There was an ending because something here wasn't moving forward. There was no victory. There was a lot of unhappiness. Someone here was very much unsatisfied with how someone was contributing or the way they were contributing or how much they were contributing. And ultimately, I'm getting it caused a lot of delays. There was too many distractions. And it, it ultimately resulted in an ending because something here was not able to be successful. So Gemini, I'm getting someone put the brakes on it. You could have been you, but I feel like right now there's the energy of, um, yeah, putting the brakes on it because something's not moving forward. But there's also the death in reverse. So some of you guys, they may have recently ended it, but almost there's the energy that 
yeah, I had to end it, but I'm not quite certain if it's really, if it's a temporary ending or if we're going to revisit this because there's some kind of resurrection or um, someone here is not exactly closing the cycle, right? There's something here that's not done and it could be because of this fire sign. Tell me more about the fire sign, this Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the King of Wands. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone here definitely wished that they had offered you something um, more secure, but I'm getting that someone here was up in their head about it. Someone was very stressed. Someone here may have had some commitment issues here, Gemini. You could have been dealing with someone who was a commitment foe. They were afraid to offer you this new beginning or this um, the solid offer when you wanted it. But I'm getting that there's something here that you, you knew this person had the ability to offer it, but they didn't. But there's something here that isn't entirely done here. The death and verse is indicating of some kind of new beginning resurrection that wants to happen okay but that's why we have the full card you know the challenge is to see well can there be a new beginning so let's see as far as the outcome we have you gemini really working on yourself the nine of pentacles is here the nine of pentacles what's this about the seven of swords the ten of swords and the magician yeah i feel a lot of you guys you're, you're manifesting you know there's something here that obviously ended ten of swords right it left you you know miserable left you devastated but i also see that you're strategizing seven swords you're manifesting what you want you're co-creating right there's something that you really want regarding love it could be business it could be you know something you're very passionate about but you're using your tools to manifest what you want in a current energy now there's something that is being revealed here the moon in reverse could be a secret here something that was hidden from you why is the moon card here to be done with the Pisces. Moon is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Lovers. Some of you guys are done with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, it's your energy. Someone is definitely thinking about you, but not only thinking about you, there's a lot of regrets about a past situation, a lot of remorse, a lot of disappointment in how they handled this connection because I'm seeing them look at the Lovers. They're looking at the decisions that they've made. Right, And I'm seeing that someone here in the near future wants to make a decision with the lovers. There's some kind of decision that has to be made because someone here is feeling like they really let you down. They were a disappointment. They regret something here or not doing something or not speaking up. And there's a decision that your person wants to make. Now, that is something here that you guys may not be aware of because um, it's coming into the future. The moon is in reverse. This is something that your person may have been hiding. They may have been holding this back. Tell me more about the page of wands. Could be a fire sign here. There's some news that's coming in for sure. So a lot of you guys is telling me that you may look at this as bad news because you've already kind of <laughs> closed out the cycle. Some of you guys, you've already moved on. And the, the page of wands has come out in reverse because a lot of you guys is telling me that you don't even want to think about this person right now because you've invested so much in the past and it has not really brought forth anything for you. It has not brought the satisfaction for you. It has not been a good investment for you. And you only want to find yourself in this two swords energy where you're in conflict again. Because you close out this cycle, you really trying to move on. And then the idea of this person coming back, right, with some kind of communication or some kind of truth or, you know, these feelings of regrets, it's now making you in this two of swords energy where you're at a stalemate, right? So I do feel a lot of you guys, you're not prepared for this, but I do see that there's someone here that um, definitely wants to revisit this situation here with you. But also, Gemini, realize how far you've come right? The nine of pentacles is here. You've, you've come so far to get to where you are right now. And there's a lot that you have to be um, grateful for, right? A lot of you guys, you are um, receiving a lot of financial, um, getting um, blessings. And, you know, a lot of you guys, you're manifesting what you want, your desires. And a lot of it's coming true and it's coming a reality. So remember how far you've come, okay, um, without this person. <laughs> so Gemini, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I wish you all the best. Bonus reading is up on Vimeo. How does this person feel? Check it out for the end of September if you're interested. All right, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.